must admit that just looking at some of the posts on Facebook makes me realise just how divided the working classes of this nation are. I see so many judgmental people generalising to the extent that some of the posts could almost include anyone for so many different situations in life, from so many different, way, different situations in life. There is so much bitterness in this country amongst the working classes, so much resentment towards different groups and individuals for so many different reasons. Many go along on a daily basis pretending and hiding behind a facade yeah, as they bicker and point fingers at people. I honestly see little future on this island for decent people. The place is infested with self-importance and lack of empathy. And I said that before on, on Facebook and got the, got the reactions I expected. Yeah, I got the reactions I expected, you know. Just six or seven likes and and reactions in a different way, in a rounded way from people who I believe had read it, you know, Saturday. Sam stag mid tag. But yeah, I do believe that. I see so many shallow, uh, nasty posts. They, 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 in just a statement, and I make them myself, don't get me fucking wrong. In just a, you know, a photograph with a few fucking words written across could include everybody. Include so many. So many groups who don't deserve to be in that group. That's why it is dangerous, Facebook. But at the same time, you can, you can also, through a post like that, 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 that you feel yourself is, is reaching groups it shouldn't reach and you feel yourself that it's reaching people who are going to start feeling sensitive about that despite the fact it's not even fucking, you know, it's not even aimed at them. That's when you can start to categorise groups of people and how they react to, to, a, to, a, to a post, a small post that... That's how I see this country going. You may think I'm talking a lot of shite now, but I do see it being extremely divided amongst the working classes. I can categorise it into people doing all right, you know, young, different areas of the country, just for, just for three categories, you know? But all of that at the same time could could hurt, could, could hurt, but beyond repair, certain groups, the disabled, the unemployed, the sick in general, the homeless, do you know where I'm coming from? I don't know if you do, but it doesn't fucking matter really. Because what I'm, what I'm basically saying is that we all see, you know, it, it's like taking something the wrong way, isn't it? When someone writes something about your rights to you or says something to you in a pub, bang, fuck off, you know what I mean? Or vice versa, you know what I mean? You know, run and whatever, or, or it, 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 you know, or, or sack them, or fucking... It, 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 from a man to a woman, from a child to a fucking adult, you know? We all... I would say struggle, but... can so easily say something that, that, that the other person doesn't fucking... or takes completely the wrong way. And, I, and as I said then, you know, from the... You know, the unemployed young man desperate to find a job who can't find a job, you know, to be tarred in amongst fucking the work shy who don't want to fucking work. 
you know, for the sick, you know, to be also, who would be desperate and would love a job, you know, to be tarred in amongst the ones who have other fucking ways of making a living. Whether it be legal or illegal. And let's include all the fucking MPs in that, you know. Let's face it. That's only a fucking... You know, the first inch on the fucking bottom of the bath, that, innit? What them fuckers are. All these fancy speeches and shite and fucking... Stood up at fucking... In front of the fucking... Well, you know where I'm coming from, you know. From Tony Blair fucking Cameron downwards. They can demand... Hundreds of thousands for a speech, which they probably already said on the fucking news at some stage. But that's what I'm getting at. I'm getting at the way we all take things the wrong way. I just watched an interesting program. Very rare I watch TV, but I watched a really interesting program, and it's Sky News, and it was a documentary in the afternoon, and it was recording. The police in America and the police over here and how we operated differently, i.e. to disarm people or to like, you know, try and make the situation fucking a little less fucking dooby doof, you know. You know, you know I'm coming from. It was interesting. As much as with Sky, a bit like the post I'm talking about on Facebook, they are aimed at a certain category of people, a certain fucking group. You can pick them up yourself and actually dissect them, can't you? The programme and the post. And spot and see the difference in the reactions. Even amongst the people being interviewed on there or amongst the people who make comments on Facebook. Of how they see a post. But the, the main thing I wanted to talk about this was on about... Uh, one of the groups I'm trying to get around to who, who, who react totally different than the other groups are, are, are there, there are certain groups of people I've met in my life uh, a lot from up where my family come from Cumbria a lot of Irish who I've lived with in, in London and such as that uh, a lot of uh, Eastern Europeans that come and visit our country who have a very, very, very strong work ethic, work ethic. You know? Doesn't matter what the fuck it is, they'll muck in. They're in. Now, I can talk about this because I've been there. You might laugh and fucking joke, but I've travelled the length and breadth of the fucking world, basically. You know, to fucking build houses, to build walls, to fucking, you know, to... To make a living through a fucking trade, you know, that sometimes took me to the most fucking outrageous corners of the fucking, the fucking earth. You know, without getting too, you know. But yeah, to, to, to make a dollar, you know. I don't have it anymore. That's gone. 58, it's passed. The eviction helped it passed. Like, like all the abuse helps it pass. But I don't want to go back to that subject on this. I'm talking about... I wonder whether I would have still had that work ethic if I still had the four walls around me and the roof over my head that I was trying to get right. I mean, I don't know. I was starting to fucking struggle physically and mentally with it. This is what I'm trying to say now. Is the Irish, the Cumbrian the Eastern European work ethic right? Is it? Is it right? Is it right in the sense that it doesn't require a lot of that? You know, despite the fact you're putting many fucking hours, yeah, bust your back for it, to pay for the roof over your head, to fucking, like, put the fucking clothes on your kid's back, to fucking have a car, have a fucking holiday over you. Does, is it right, that ethic, when we see we're surrounded by fucking all right jackers, like I keep talking about? And, uh, you know, from the fucking MPs to Elizabeth herself. But coming right down the line to the council officials. Yeah, you know, any crazy money. 90, 150 grand a year. 
You know, for being on a fucking council board. You know? Lectures at university, you know. It, 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 these are fucking people who are making a fucking fortune, you know. Out of not having anything like your work ethic or the Irish Cumbrians and the fucking Eastern Europeans who bend their back all day fucking picking fucking vegetables in a fucking Norfolk fucking farm or even in this area around here, around Southport, Ainsdale you know, it, it, it'll work all hours in the construction trade my family have been on this morning, all morning pissing down, that's all I got fuck me, it's pissing, I know it stops today I've got a graft the next sentence was, well, anyway, let's get into it. We might as well get wet. And four hours later, five hours later, it was soaked to the fucking skin. That was wet. Well, I thought, well, really? You'd already fucking assumed that or seen that or said that. You know, <laughs> you admitted that. I didn't used to do it in the rain, me, man. No, fuck that. We fought for years to stop working in the rain. I'm totally again. Everyone to their own thing. You know what I mean? Or the Irish, who would fucking, I live within London, who would work all day on a building site all day as qualified fucking electricians, whatever, mate, you know what I mean? Break yourself where, where you came back into the fucking digs we were staying in and would actually fucking have a bit of lunch and then boom, back out to Tesco's or else they're stacking the fucking shelves till four in the morning. Is that work ethic right? It's fucking not, is it? You know, we talk about sharing and being all part of a society where you know we're not gonna fucking try and outdo each other or try and i don't blame anyone for having aspirations you know and even in my communist world it wouldn't be about everyone gets exactly the same every week if you wanted to work 200 fucking hours and there was plenty of work then you do 200 fucking hours and get 200 times more than i got for four well you know what i mean if I got a penny an hour, you get 200 pennies and I get 40 pennies or whatever. You know? Or is it tinnies? 40 tinnies for me and 200 tinnies for you. You're going to have to over on something. Do you know where I'm coming from? Is the work ethic right? I know they want us to be like that. The I'm alright jackers, the fucking government. Anyone in a capitalist society wants the fucking lowest part of the fucking system, the fucking waiters, the waiters on the fucking, you know what I mean? And if you're living in that, if you're living in amongst that work ethic, right, whether you're fucking digging the fucking roads, sweeping the fucking streets, fucking whatever you're doing, it becomes competitive. I know what it's like up Cumbria. I know what it's like with the Irish in London. Or was, I know what it's like with the Eastern Europeans that come across here, you know? If you're living in that ethic and you're surrounded by everyone in that ethic, then you yourself want more. It's a competition, isn't it? It's the way they love to keep it, isn't it? That's competition, isn't it? Competition is fucking perfect. A bit like one of the guys said the other night, you know? You know, it's about keeping the whole fucking world working for fuck all. You know, while the kings, well, we are fucking hell. You know, we don't have to fucking talk about their kind of lifestyle, do we? Most of us are only looking for, for just uh, satisfaction, shall we say. But should that work ethic be fucked off? Yeah? I, for one, at 58 now, think it should. I don't think there should be. See, that's the difference between socialism and fucking communism and everything else, isn't it? When I'm talking about someone being able to work 200 hours if they want and someone to be able to work 40, everyone being on the same way, it's bullshit, bullshit. I, I think it would even out a bit more, don't you? If everybody was on £10 an hour, well, um, you see, you've still got some silly country who's got to fucking decide, like the council with their hands, you know, with their hand on the purse strings, who gets what. <laughs> I'm just asking you, if that is that work ethic right? I don't think we'll stop it. 
and we'll get people coming from all corners of the world to all parts of the world trying to like you know give their fucking effort to 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 to, to basically well it should be all towards making the world a better place, but I'm not sure it is, do you? Is it all about that? It's all about what I said in that bit there, isn't it? Self-importance, isn't it? You know, your family doing better than someone else's family. You know, I've, I've got more than you, look at me, you know. That, you're worth it. <laughs> you need to work fucking hour harder, you know. But these fuckers aren't making... You know, the ten pound an hour I talked about in there fucking they're making ridiculous amounts and they're using and abusing and uh, you know, the people who have this wonderful earth work ethic, they're using and abusing them, they're using them like prostitutes, they're using them as fucking I I've, I've always said this, whether it's a building trade or whether you're waiting on serving fucking sandwiches. Yeah. If you're knocking a price out and getting the job done for the fucking boy with the coin, that's fine. You know, you, you've got the, the door there to fucking, like, take all of and spread, spread out amongst the people who help you, if you do it fairly. But if it, if it, if you're working for some fucking clown who's using your skills and your fucking actions, yeah, whether it be because you can make a decent sandwich or fucking spread a fucking wall with plaster, you know, a set of fucking thousand bricks. If you're, if you're, if he's making fucking more than you, because he can afford this fucking silly fucking kind of shite like fucking public liability insurances which are all fiddled and fucked through the fucking brains. They fuck everyone up with them today, you know. If you're actually using someone's body, then you're no different, as I've said in the past, than a pimp man is using a fucking, a girl guy, whatever fucking child as these perverted bastards do today to fucking make your money from, your profit from. You're actually making money out of somebody else's skills. And the oldest fucking profession in the world, isn't it? Prostitution. I'll leave you with that. And like I say, is that work ethic finished I'm talking about? That bust your arse. Even though a lot of these people seem to do it quite well in amongst themselves without fucking arguing, without fucking actually, you know, let's say squabbling over fucking contracts. Especially in the small areas that I know of Cumbria and all that, there are differences of opinion and they do fucking keep a close-knit a close group of each other who get these contracts, which in one sense could be fucking put at danger if you get, you know, people coming from other parts. Well, is there all work ethic wrong? And should it be that when it pisses down, you say, fuck it, we're going to the lusher, you know? Or even physically, should you think to yourself, I'm not going to go working in that all day because even for the guy I'm doing the job for, he's not going to get the same kind of fucking product that I'm fucking charging him for. Because it's pissing down, it's going to run all down the fucking front and I'm not really fucking arsed whether I get it right or not. Yeah? I don't know. Tell me. What kind of work ethic should we have? Yeah? I'm interested to know I'm 58 I've lived through them all at 11 years old I left this house I'm in my mum's now and was shouted up every morning at half past six because I you know and there was Weetabix and cornflakes not on this table but in this room waiting for me to eat as I ran for two hours every morning delivering milk and ran I mean ran if I didn't fucking run I didn't get back to fucking get to school if I didn't run for that fucking two hour sh shift I'd catch the bus out there at fucking ten to nine, quarter to nine, as I'd run around there from fucking, you know, probably an hour and a quarter, uh, well over an hour and a half to get back on time. You know, and I would do that five days a week from the early years till about 12, 13, and then, yeah, I think it was about 13 that I got to do it Sundays as well. So I was doing it seven days a week. Yeah, three hours on a Saturday morning, three hours on a Sunday morning, and two hours every other morning. Yeah, for 30 fucking, pound fifty. Three fifty 3.50p's I got. Yeah. 
And another 350p's for Sunday. Sunday was extra. And that's the work ethic I grew up with. And I carried that on into the building trade. By the fact, you know, by, nothing fucking mattered. It was about graft, you know. I'd always had, not union mentality, but a reality that some weren't being treated as well as others. But I've always, I've always had that all my life. I think that's just, that's fuck all to do with uh, uh, nurture. That's more nature, the way I, I had that. And I've always, I've always believed in fighting for what I believe in. But yeah. What's the right work ethic? Let me know, eh?